so today we are studying about types of demand and inside the types of demand we are going to study about uncertain demand right so basically there are two types of uncertain demand first is fixed period system or p system and next is fixed quantity system if you'll go through these two names you can understand little bit about it but most important thing is that if you are preparing for examination only understanding the topic is not going to help you you have to get in depth real concept of the topic all right so i'm going to share with you what is it basically fixed period system one thing is clear from this name that is in this system there is something is happening with fixed period that means time is fixed that's right so we are studying about demand that means it's all about inventory i mean uh, ordering or demanding that means ordering so fixed in this system what happened in the fixed period system we order quantity uh in the respective fixed time that's just like we uh we will keep ordering on some quantity after 3 months well after 3 months every after 3 months but but one thing we need to add here in this definition that is quantity is not fixed quantity may vary quantity may vary but the period of time is fixed and if you'll we'll if you'll we'll see this diagram this is important in here order quantity q and t is time and from here to here is known as lead time so basically what is happen uh, this is you know the time period after which the order reaches the time period after which the order reaches is from here to here that is known as lead time and this point is the order point and from in the from here to here lead time if we'll draw this this line vertical line that is q1 that is known as lead time consumption quality sorry it should be consumption quantity okay so consumption quantity so at that time how much quantity consumed will be consumed or may consumed okay now next is fixed quantity system so what is it basically fixed quantity system all right so basically fixed quantity system you know the time period is not fixed maybe it it would be depend on you know our consumption maybe you know in the in the peak season we we may you know uh, we may order 100 uh, i mean we may order 100 pieces pieces of anything in every day every day but quantity would be fixed the fixed quantity all right are you getting me so basically quantity would be fixed but time period will not be fixed maybe in the dull season i mean you know whenever the mar- whenever the market is condition is not good in that season we may even order 30 pieces in 30 days so this is all about two types of uncertain demand uh, and uh, all these things come under inventory well i hope you understand this topic uncertain demand and about this diagram and see you soon in my next video thanks for watching bye